Assalamualaikum, welcome to Farm and Farm. And today we will discuss most commonly asked interview questions related to excipients. And the first question is define excipients. Excipients are defined as all those ingredients which are used in a dosage form other than active pharmaceutical ingredient are known as excipients and these are pharmacologically inert. The next question is that what is the meaning of excipient? The excipient is derived from Latin word excipere and its mean is to accept or other than. The next question is that what are the ideal characteristics of an excipient? The ideal characteristics of an excipient are it must be pharmacologically inert, it must be cost effective, it must be commercially available and it must be compliant to the regulatory bodies. The next question is that why we use excipients? The use of excipient is for many reasons but the main reason of excipient is to manufacture our drug delivery system. The excipients are used to enhance the bioavailability of drug product. The excipients are used to enhance the solubility of API. The excipients are used to enhance the stability of drug product and the protection from the oxidation. The excipients are used to mask the unpleasant taste. The excipients are used to help in product identification by using different colorants. The next question is that what is the origin of excipient? Excipient are derived from the animals, plants, marine origins and they can also be manufactured synthetically and semi-synthetically. The next question is that what is the excipient classification? Excipient are classified depending upon their role like the dilvents, the disintegrants, binders, lubricants, glidants, then sweeteners, colorants. Then there will be the suspending agents, emulsifying agents, isotonic agents and preservatives. The next question is that which excipients are used for the tablet manufacturing. The tablet manufacturing excipients are bulking agents, binders, disintegrants, colorants, glidants, lubricants, sweeteners. These are all the tablet manufacturing excipients. Preservative can also be used. Next one is that. What are the diluents? Diluents are also known as bulking agents. If you want to learn more about diluents, the link of video is given in description. Diluents or bulking agents are the excipients which are used to enhance the bulk of the dosage form. Example of the diluents are lactose, starch, microcrystalline, cellulose, dextrose. These are all diluents. Next question is that what are the disintegrants? Disintegrants are the excipients which are added in solid dosage form to break down the tablet into small fragments and then these small fragments are broken down to release the API. You want to learn more about the disintegrants link of video is given in description. What are the examples of disintegrants? The conventional disintegrant is starch. Super disintegrants are sodium starch, glycolate and cross caramelose sodium. What are the binders? As the name indicates, binders are used during the tablet manufacturing to give the adhesion. The, if you want to learn more about binders, the link of video is given in description. What are the classification of binders? Binders are classified into natural binders, synthetic binders and semi-synthetic binders. Next question is that what are the examples of natural binders? The example of natural binders are the gums like tragaganth, acacia. Next one is the starch and gelatin. Next question is that what are the examples of synthetic binder? Synthetic binder is polyvinyl pyrolidone or PVP or colidone. Next question is that give the example of semi-synthetic binders. The example of semi-synthetic binder is hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose and hydroxypropyl cellulose. Next question is that what are the lubricants and glidants? The glidants are the excipients which are used to reduce the friction between particles mean they reduce the interparticle friction and enhance the flow example is talc and aerosol. What are the lubricants? Lubricants are the excipients which are added in solid dose form to prevent the sticking. Example of lubricants most commonly used lubricants is the magnesium stearate. Next one is that give the name of an excipient which have multi role. The most commonly used excipient which have multi role is starch. It is used as a diluent. It is also used as a binder. It is also used as a 
disintegrant and in some quantities it is also used as glidant next question is that what are the negative effect of magnesium stearate in tablet manufacturing if the concentration of magnesium stearate is very high it will affect the dissolution profile and disintegration if you want to learn how it affect the link of video is given in description the next question is that what are the coating suspension excipients the coating suspension excipients are film former plasticizer opacants colorants and anti adherent the next question is that give the example of enteric coating excipient mean enteric coating film former the most commonly used enteric coating film former is eudragit l100 so it was all about the most commonly asked interview questions related to the excipients if you want to read the article link of article is given in description must watch farmandform.com to learn more videos and till the next video allah hafiz